father passed away on July 29th, and he was a general practitioner in West Warwick and took care of a lot of the needy, and, and uh, at that time there wasn't really a whole lot of health insurance. He gave back to the community, he, you know, he accepted payments with eggs from farmers, uh, you know, and uh, so he wanted to do something in his memory. And so my brother, Dr. Paul, my sister, Dr. Patty, and I sat down one day and said, what can we do? And we decided to have a, a charity day for uh, and give back and thank everybody for again for being so good to us. So on July 29th, we close all the offices down and we send all the employees out into the field to do volunteer work for the day. It's a great day for everybody. They give back to the community to thank them for being good to us. organizations that you know we look forward to going to they look forward to having us I have been honored and privileged to work with Koch Eye Care for about five years now and we give them the worst job in the world they wash the outside of the house they do all the uh, yard work and it only gets done once a year when Koch Eye Care is here we are so grateful for that. You can't always change the outcome of what happens to these children, but you sure can make a difference while they're here. Every year we look forward to this time of the year. <laughs> it's like waiting for Christmas to come. <laughs> when Koch <Kat> comes <laughs> and... I guess this is our fourth year, Wow! and every year is better than the one before. I'm Erin Lane, I'm a psychologist and the clinical director at the Providence Center School. Um, we've been lucky to have Koch volunteers come to our system for the last couple of years and they've been able to interact with students, read books, really brighten the student's day just by being an adult who's sort of validating what the kids are doing each day. Um, we're very thankful for Koch's um, commitment to do this and it's been um, I'm you know we're all all the adults who have been able to interact with Koch volunteers have been amazed by the commitment. It it gives the employees a time to self-reflect. You know, they're very busy, they work very hard, we see a lot of patients. So, but it's a time where they can relax and they can go out and do some good. And, you know, a lot of them wouldn't have the opportunity to do this. So this is good. This is a I good chose day. this site because I enjoy, truly enjoy working with elderly. Mm -hmm. um, we, so far today we've uh, done a bunch of farm games and all facts about farms and animals and, and I think it's just such a great thing that they, you know, they take the time to go into the community to help. Um, and I've done it every year since they started, mm -hmm. so I, I think it's just such a great cause, and I hope, I really, truly hope that we continue to do it. Some of our doctors to clean, clean cars, so that was yes. a fun part to see. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> they got dirty. <laughs> they got dirty with us. <laughs> do you feel like this couch care stay is important? Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Yeah. Not absolutely. just yeah, not just for us, but the communities, you know, the organizations that we volunteer with. Also important day in memory of Dr. Peter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it adds a whole vibe yeah. to the office, and it's really a positive thing. Right, actually, getting yes. around the spirit in the office right. just lifts. And it's, and yeah, we look forward to a really. sense of. Okay, we are at the uh, New Urban Farmers, uh, which is a urban farm in the middle of a housing project in, in Pawtucket. And uh, I had never heard of this place, but I had signed up for uh, coming out here, and it was a fantastic experience. Uh, today, we uh, transplanted some tomato plants from these little uh, 
planters to these big ones, and then we're putting them putting them in these these domes over here so they can uh, grow and uh, uh, bring fruit for everyone. What the Nervin Farmers does is essentially bring the community in to help educate them how to grow their own food and also supply the community at large with healthy, nutritious food that's grown locally and organically. So not only are we tending to the citizens of this community, but we're also tending to the land, nourishing both soil and community members.